What is up, bros and brats? I am Ink Slasher, and today we're playing some Black Ops 3. You guys requested me playing some Black Ops 3, like more than anything else, so I thought we'd bring back some Black Ops 3. And today we're playing some Search and Destroy. So if you guys haven't seen me stream very much, I play a lot of Search and Destroy on stream, whereas on the channel I uploaded a lot of like um, Kill Confirm, Team Deathmatch, Domination kind of stuff. I just found that the different game modes kind of fit the different platforms better. Um, but, since we're playing live, I thought we might as well play some Search and Destroy. Uh, and I'll pull out a sniper and try to snipe a little bit, I guess. Um, now this is a map I actually really like for Search and Destroy, but don't like it for any other game modes, which is like the opposite of a lot of maps. One of the things I loved about Black Ops 3 was the actual map design. The, my Probably my favorite thing about it was the amount of Easter eggs they put in like every single map was unbelievable. Um, for example, go on just... While we're on YouTube, go to my channel and look how many Easter egg videos I have for Black Ops 3 versus Infinite Warfare. It's not even comparable. Uh, I also have a story to tell you guys today about Black Ops 3. And in fact, it's about how I got Black Ops 3. It's a pretty interesting story. Someone just tried to cross the map tomahawk me. I heard it. Alright, come out, come out wherever you are. The bomb is down. Our player's down. I'm about to go down. So they know where I am. Which is it? Oh, I know where he is. Okay, he's going in the cave. I don't think he suspects me chasing him. Oh, there's two of them. Let's see if we can pick off the other guy. My guess is he's going to try to flank behind me. Is my teammate planning it? Oh, he is. He's playing that objective. And I'm going to watch this way. So the story begins with me... Whoa! Got him. With me working uh, back at the warehouse. So... Back in the day when Black Ops 3 came out, I wasn't doing YouTube full-time, I was working at a warehouse, and I actually really enjoyed working there. But my shift finished at 11pm pretty much every night. And this was two days before Call of Duty came out. Before Black Ops 3 came out, two days before it came out. And all day at work that day, I was trying to find someone who could get me Black Ops 3 early. I just wanted it like a day or two early. I said I'd pay a couple extra bucks and uh, I, w I just wanted it early, right? Where are you? Got him! All right, let's just use this. So I eventually found a guy. I, I don't know whether it was on, <sighs> hi there. I don't know whether it was on Craigslist or whether it was on Kijiji or what website it was on, but I ended up finding a guy. And he's like, pay extra 20 bucks, I'll give it to you a day early. Or if you can come pick it up tonight, that would work too. I'm like, alright, but I can't get there till like 1 in the morning because I live like an hour, hour and a half away from Toronto. So I have to drive there if I don't know where that guy is. I can't see him. I could not see him. Is he invisible? Or am I blind? Where the hell was he? That was weird. Okay, weirdest round ever. So anyway, I find the guy, decide to drive to Toronto. I get there at about like 12.30 in the morning, which for getting off work at 11 isn't so bad. Um, I get there, and I'm sitting in his parking lot, and he's not answering his phone all of a sudden, like at all. He's like, not sending me any message back. I'm like, I'm here, bro. Like... And uh, maybe 20 minutes goes by and he still doesn't answer me. Now let's use this UAV. For the boys, okay, I'm gonna flank as long as there's no one in here. Yeah, I'm gonna flank right around. I should be able to pick up two here. Let's see, where did he go? There he is. Ah! Okay, he ran away. The boys are planning a day. So I'm sitting there. Not knowing where in the hell this guy is that's supposed to be selling me Black Ops 3. And anyway, time goes by and I decide, alright, I'm going to try to find someone else who's selling it early. Uh, because Toronto's like the biggest city in Canada. If I'm going to, Jesus, find it anywhere, it's going to be there. So I look and look and look. Maybe another 20 minutes goes by and I find another guy. So I find another guy, but the problem is, is this guy is about a half hour away from where I'm already chilling, right? So, I have two options. Either I wait for this guy who originally messaged me to try to buy it from him, or I go to second guy. Um, I end up deciding to go to second guy. Now, the problem with this is I have to drive a half hour further. I don't know if he actually has the game or is going to try to kill me. 
And the next morning I have class because at the time I was taking a biology class to upgrade my marks to get into college or to get in the program. I already got into college, but to get into the program that... Anyway, not the point. I had a class the next morning. Watch me kill a nerd. Oh, there's going to be nerds here. There is going to be nerds here. Let me see if I can do something. Oh, no, 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 not the time. Not the time. Oh, your boy's going to die. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> Alright, they're still there. I saw you. There's also a dude behind me. Alright, 9 and 1. Still not bad. So I have that class in the morning, so I'm deciding to drive a half hour further, but I know the only reason I'm getting this early is so I can have two videos go up the day the game comes out, which is the very next day. So... I drive a half hour further, I end up actually getting the game. It was the sketchiest thing in the world. Uh, we meet behind a GameStop. He's like, it wasn't a sketchy dude, but it was a sketchy like area to meet. So that kind of freaked me out a little bit. But I end up getting the game fine. So I get the game around 1.30 in the morning. And I know it's going to take me an hour to get home from where I am. And I'm like, alright. I missed. My bad friend on my team. So I get home and I start playing the game and I'm playing the game early. So if you go and watch Pomage's first montage from Black Ops 3, you can actually see him get a triple on me because I, I got in his lobby and was playing in his lobby for maybe like, I don't know, three hours. So he got a triple on me. It was in his first montage. Um, I didn't know that, but you guys certainly let me know that. This might be a mistake. But I get home that first night. And I'm absolutely loving it. Like, I'm loving the game, playing it. But at the time, crypto keys weren't working. And I knew, as soon as I started playing it, I knew crypto keys were going to be, like, the, the big thing in the game, right? Like, I knew crypto keys were going to be, like, what people were wondering about how they get them. Because that's how you got loot, right? So, I put all my effort into trying to get these, and I just couldn't get them. But it turns out, to get crypto keys, the game servers needed to fully be turned on. A nice 12 and 1 to start the night. So, I'm playing and playing and playing, trying to figure out why I'm not getting any of these crypto keys. And then 3 a.m. comes around. Now, I'm on Eastern Standard Time. So, Eastern Standard Time, 3 a.m. is midnight Pacific Standard Time, which is the new day, which is when the server's fully turned on. So, when the server's fully turned on, this was a day before the game was actually released, I finally figured out, okay, I can get crypto keys now. And I believe I was actually the first person to figure out how the crypto keys actually worked, how winning actually, or how the longer you were winning actually improved the amount of crypto keys you got. And I uploaded a video the day of. And because I stayed up all night that night, drove to Toronto and got there, I had one of like the top viewed videos on Black Ops 3 the very first day. And I really do think that the whole thing of me driving out there actually getting the game all of that kind of stuff is one of the reasons why my channel did so well during black ops 3. i truly believe that and then come this year come infinite warfare i actually got the game even earlier this year because i knew the same guy right like the same guy had like his he's got his whole business going where he can get games for people early great guy let me tell you but the thing is is this year People just didn't have the same interest as they did in Black Ops 3 when Black Ops 3 came out. So, it didn't quite work the same way uh, as this game. Um, now, we can go this way anyway. It, doesn't, it looks like everyone went towards A. Yeah, they totally did. Alright, we're going to scooch over to A here. He tried. He tried real hard. There's also a guy in the middle here. We got two. I don't think my teammates killed anyone. That's not good! We're dead. Alright, the boys aren't doing so hot here. We gotta pick it up. But the one thing I miss in this game so much is the way they did aim assist. I think they did it absolutely perfectly. Like, um, aim assist in this game is so fantastic. So, there's no aim assist on sniper rifles, but there's more aim assist on the other weapons than there is in Infinite Warfare. And that leads to what feels like, to me, better hit detection. And I really like that. So, I see you up there. I s Oh. Come get some. 
came and got some. I don't know what he thought he was doing. And I really miss that. Like, honestly, if... If you haven't played Black Ops 3 in a while and you've been playing Infinite Warfare, just pick up Black Ops 3 and you'll really see the difference between the... Holy fuck, was that my teammates? Ah! Good job, I have no idea what happened there. Okay. How didn't I die? I guess I shouldn't complain. Alright, we got a big comeback here. I feel it. My, my, my team is not doing so hot, but we got a big comeback coming up here. It's really funny, like, I've, all, I've been making these videos lately, like the live commenters where we talk about stories from Call of Duty. Most of the stories I've got about this Call of Duty come from streaming it. I had a lot of fun. What? That's some bullshit. Is he... It's 2v4. There's a guy behind you. There's a guy behind you. Yeah, this guy's not going to clutch it up. I would be shot. Don't, no, 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 no. Oh, what a play. If he clutches this, we will win the game. If he clutches this, 100% we will win the game. I guarantee it. Also, he has an HCXD. Okay, I was wrong. We're going to win this game. This is the comeback. This is the comeback we wanted. We needed. And I wasn't even a part of it at all. In fact, I really didn't do any of this. This is, this is too good. I don't deserve this comeback. I'm going to go back here. Kind of the same thing he did. The only problem is is he's got a dude with uh, cold-blooded. Or they do. And there's also a couple dudes up in our spawn here. What I tell you? I see you. I see you. I missed you. All right, they're pushing far up into the spawn here. We got to win this. The comeback kids. That's bad. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Who is he shooting at? Okay. Yeah, we won! I told you. We just had to... That guy had to clutch up that round. And I told you we would win. I had no idea where that guy was. And uh, th that's why they call us the comeback kids. I mean, that second game didn't go nearly as well as the first game. But we won, and that's the point. So, this video was kind of pointless. I told you the story of how I got the game. I told you how all I remember from this game is streaming it. And if you want to see me stream, there's going to be many more streams come the beginning of May. I don't know whether we're going to be playing Black Ops 3 or whether we're going to be playing Infinite Warfare. Or maybe a little bit of both. But uh, there will be streams become beginning of May. Like I said, the game wasn't nearly as good as the first one. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. If you want to see more live commentaries, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And until next time, peace out.